Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a study day in my life as a fourth year medical student. As you all know, if you've watched any of my vlogs before, I always start off the day with a bowl of porridge with a banana and some berries. As all of our learning is online, I don't have to rush to get ready for the day, so I'll often just eat my breakfast while watching Friends. So on this day, we had a webinar at 9am, so this was a Q&A session where we could ask any questions we had about the week. So this week was dermatology, covering a wide range of skin conditions. There are about 100 people in the webinars and I didn't really have any questions to ask that day, so I just had the webinar on in the background and then I was making some Quizlet flashcards on dermatology. I have really been trying to stay on top of making flashcards as I go along this year because as you might know I'm really putting a big focus on active recall as my main method of learning rather than making loads and loads of really lovely neat handwritten notes like I normally do. So after making some flashcards I then got on with learning some of the new content so I was basically just copying and pasting things over to my big word document. I then went on a morning run. I've been doing so many more morning runs since lockdown because obviously the online course gives us a lot more flexibility. So I've just run up the biggest hill in my area and I'm just taking a minute at the top to just look at the view. I'm literally the only person up here. Feels incredible. If you don't run, then it doesn't matter. Walk, jog, crawl to a high point and just look at the view and just appreciate the nature. My run ended up being nine miles long, so I was pretty tired at the end of it, as you can probably see. And so I was just looking through the stats of my run on my watch and drinking a Lucasaid. And then I did some post-run stretching. So I then got on with some online learning. For dermatology, we had a lot of these online learning packages to work through. This one was on acne, and these have a lot of content in them. So my main aim when I'm making my original notes is just to get all of the content over onto my Word document. And then I will kind of collate different resources into that Word document, and I will lay it out in a way so that I can easily copy and paste it into a flashcard. Oh, and then there's my lunch. So while you watch me going through some more online learning packages, I wanted to talk a bit more about Active Recall. So Active Recall is always something I've used to learn. I've always made flashcards to learn pieces of information, but I wanted to put a lot more of an emphasis on it this year. And that's because when we go back onto placement, we are going to have so much content to learn and not very much time. So instead of spending a lot of time formatting my notes or handwriting out all of my notes, I think it's going to be so much more efficient for me to just copy and paste bits of information into flashcards and then I can regularly test myself on those flashcards. This also means that I'm going to be constantly going over old material. I am literally being bombarded with different skin conditions right now. I don't know how I'm going to ever learn all of these. So I then wanted to test myself on describing and diagnosing the skin conditions. So I just found this quiz online where you were presented with a picture and you just had to basically diagnose it. I think constantly testing yourself in medicine is so important because when you see pictures of rashes and lesions, you think, yeah, I could easily diagnose that. But when you actually test yourself, you realize the holes in your knowledge. So here I'm doing even more of the learning packages. And although I am copying and pasting pretty much everything into my Word document, when I make my flashcards, I try to be quite selective. So so some things you can learn just by sort of familiarizing yourself with them and you don't need to actively practice recalling them on a flashcard but quite a lot of things I feel like I did need to put on flashcards so I just put all the information into my word document so I can decide later which things I've already learned just by familiarizing myself with them and which things I haven't and here I'm actually testing myself on my flashcards from ENT week, which was the week before Dermatology week. So I'm always refreshing my memory on things I've learned in the past so that I don't forget them. And I actually speak the answer to the flashcard out loud, so I'm making sure that I really do know the content. In this brand new notebook that I got from Paper Chase the other day, I have been drawing out mind maps of the different topics and I think this is so useful to get a kind of visual representation of a topic as a whole, to see which different conditions link together, to see how you can categorise different conditions and I just think this really aids my memory of a topic as a whole. I try to always stop working in the evenings, so this evening we actually had an Indian takeaway and then we played some Mario Kart. The last thing I did just before going to bed was I did some practice questions on the app Capsule. So this basically gives you a case study and then you have to answer questions on it and I feel like it's a really good way to test my knowledge for a topic. 
Thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Bye!